to catch mackerel in Norway, quit your job. <laughs> this requires time and patience. It holds the unique position of taking a lot of money while also being totally free, so save up a bit before you go. Buy a plane ticket to the west coast of Norway. I recommend Bergen, but Stavanger or Tromsø could work. The west coast, however, is a must. This is fjord country. You can't turn a corner without spotting a fjord. Soak in the fjords. The juxtaposition between earth and sea is never as striking as it is here. Rocky cliff faces rise out of the water with an utter disregard for sand or beach. Wonder what the adjective form of fjord is. Fjordal, fjordic? Convince someone to take you fishing on their boat. Most coastal Norwegians have one. It's part of the joy and necessity of living on the fjords. As a people, Norwegians are, however, very polite, and asking a stranger for use of their boat is rude. So find a work exchange program, such as Woof or HelpX, in which you work on a farm a few hours each day for room and board. Mostly you'll chop wood, maybe you'll feed chickens or sheep. After dinner, you'll have coffee with your hosts and talk for hours. Swap travel stories late into the night. Find the similarities and differences between your countries. Try to explain American gun culture and the two-party system. <laughs> Learn about Norwegian mandatory military service and comedic musicians. Take pride in not just your wood chopping, but your wood stacking. Norwegians are orderly and will appreciate your attention to detail. This wood will dry over the winter, and they'll use it the following winter to supplement their heat. On your days off, go into town. Hit the museums, learn about the Hanseatic trade, about the Vikings, about Edvard Munch. Restaurants are expensive in Norway, but it's okay. Your host packed you a sandwich for lunch. Get invited out onto the water on Friday. First, you must eat dinner, because Fridays in Norway are taco night. And nobody wants to miss that, not even for fishing. Don't tell them their tacos are more like burritos. Wonder what authentic means. Let the kids' enthusiasm propel you down the wooden walkway and onto the boat. Speculate on who will catch the most. Hint, it will be the youngest and most diligent of your little fishing crew. Drop a line in the water. This is the easy part. In a matter of minutes, you'll have hit a school of mackerel, and any doubt that you won't manage to catch any fish will drift away down the fjords. Fish some more. Be polite, take turns. Dark and slick, they flop for all they're worth as you haul them up, but their misfortune is your bedtime snack. Seven to 10 is a good number per fisher. Some will be small and not worth saving, but don't worry, you'll have plenty for everyone. Sit next to one of the kids who will delight in the cute way you try to pronounce the Norwegian words he teaches you. Some will come more readily than others. Jernas, star, won't roll off the tongue quite as easily as epla, apple. Cook the fish. Slice off the fillets, leaving the skin on and bones in. You don't have to eat the skin, it's just simpler this way. Lightly coat the fillets in a mixture of flour, salt, and pepper. Pan fry and butter a few minutes per side till golden and crispy. Eat the fish right away, it tastes like victory. You'll get seconds because unlike others at this table, this is a treat for you and not a normal Friday night. The next Friday, go crabbing. Learn how to dismantle and eat fresh crab. Consider moving to Norway and buying a boat of your own. <laughs> Nationalize healthcare, free universities, stable economy, what's not to love? except the cold, grueling winters even darker than Seattle. It's not worth it. Don't move to Norway. Keep traveling. <laughs> Remember Norway as you travel. Realize that it's not the museums or the famous places that you talk about to other travelers. It is the people. It is those conversations over coffee after dinner. You'll never forget the Norwegian word for star, even if you can't pronounce it. Learn that lesson over and over again. In Turkey, Israel, Jordan, Egypt, Burma, Laos, drink tea with people whose language you do not speak, but invite you to sit with them anyhow. Wave to people as you whiz by on motorbikes. Return home. <laughs> More than a year later, find yourself back in your house. Take pictures of Ballard, the murals and plaques, and send them to your hosts. You keep in contact through Facebook. Grow itchy. Host couch surfers. But there are still so many places to go and people to meet. There are friendships waiting for you out there, both the ones that last a moment and the ones that last a lifetime. 
consider moving to Costa Rica for a while. Good job. Thank you.